Hello, we're Richard and Vicky Wilson and we've been worshipping at Hope Church since 2013 when we retired back to Shropshire to be near our family. We knew Shropshire quite well because we brought up our three boys in a village near Ludlow in South Shropshire where I worked in architecture and Vicky was a market trader. Then, after our lads all got married, we spent three years working in Poland and helping the local church there. Many years ago, we felt we should pray to keep flexible in our minds as we got older. This helped us both through a difficult few years when Richard was unwell soon after our arrival here in Shropshire. During this time, we really appreciated the support of Derek and the leaders, as well as friends we had in Hope Church. Prior to lockdown, we helped Yannicka and Brian with all sorts. Vicky was volunteering at Food Bank, and I had been involved with Men's Shed on the showground for several years. We also act as ambassadors for Sat7 and give talks on their work to other churches. Before lockdown, I took over from Jean Hughes in leading the prayer team for the new church building. And during lockdown, Vicky has shared leading the midweek Zoom meeting with Yannicka and Ginny. I must be honest and say when that first lockdown happened in March, April, the weather was so beautiful. I really enjoyed being less busy, having time for gardening, walking the dog and appreciating nature chatting to neighbours over the garden fence and reading in the sun and getting burned. We also had a wonderful two weeks holiday in Scotland in early October. And then when <clears throat> we were all locked down again for a while and I did struggle. Days were getting darker, clocks went back and a mild depression crept on. There was a real need for me to get close to God and draw on his resources, keep in praise and prayer, which in turn produce hope and renewed belief that God is in control ultimately. Christmas helped too, as work at the food bank then became almost overwhelming, but such a joy to be helping people so much worse off than oneself. On Christmas Eve, Rich and I delivered fresh cooked Christmas dinners to a few families, the joy on the faces of the families that received them was the best Christmas present we could have. At the start of the first lockdown, I felt it was important to set myself a physical and a spiritual challenge. Firstly, with our neighbour's uh, permission uh, to dig the border along our shared drive, remove all the ground elder, which completely was swamping it, and to restore the, the stone edging. Secondly, to read a series of books about spiritual growth by Andrew Murray, a South African pastor and Bible teacher. Through these books, combined with Derek's excellent teaching in church, God has been speaking to me about the need for absolute surrender to him. In the past, I've done uh, lots of stuff for him in my own strengths and abilities but now he's teaching me to ask each day for a fresh anointing of his Holy Spirit to flow through me uh, and to bring the love the Father's love to people around me whether by prayer speech or action